Yeah, I feel like I'm in a better mood today. Sneak, watch my magic trick. Okay. Go on. <clears throat> watch the pin. What do you mean? Okay, a bunny. Uh, oh no, don't, don't tell me, please don't, no. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> I don't really think that's how it went down. I don't I don't recall that being the That is crazy, bro. <laughs> It was better in the clip, this? <laughs> this is quite the inception happening. Just 9-11. <laughs> the entire slowly rising is crazy. <laughs> that's insane. That's that's literally insane. What what the hell? As if 9-11 blowjob wasn't funny enough. Um, I actually think me reacting to it's way better, so please post that. Someone clipped me reacting to the clip. Wait, like literally what just happened? What? This guy can't believe it, dude. Don't. <clears throat> Don't. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. Don't.
Don't do it. Guys, what? Why is this what we clip? I'm like funny 24 seven when I'm streaming and I have to like search through the catacombs of my VOD for clips. And then you guys are like, <laughs> I can't believe it. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh-oh, guys, I've got the wrong audio channel on. This is actually great because imagine I did this in the middle of the Walton files. That would have been awkward. There we go. This guy can't believe it, dude. I can't believe it. Well, not to, now it's not funny because there's not the original reaction. We got to watch the original one again. Shit. Chat, we're bad at reacting. Uh, Not been on my stream in a while. What have I missed? Uh, I had a child. I don't know how long it's been for you. I don't know. This... There we go. Well, no, hold on. I need one where it shows the bunny. Wait, did none of you clip the bunny disappearing? Bruh. What? <laughs> Sorry, what? little John cameoed for a second. No, not no. Me. The part where I do the pog or whatever. No. I can't believe this. Fine, whatever. Y'all suck at clipping. What? Shut up me. Wait. Good clipper. Watch Give that person a sub. What do you mean? Okay, a bunny. What? <laughs> the crispy what? <laughs> uh, oh no, don't. Don't tell me. Please don't. Oh no. shit, Seek's live. <laughs> We should watch him. <laughs> Bart. Can we make the what the new a new sub alert? I mean, if you guys flip it. I haven't had a sound as a sub alert in a while though. That would keep me on that would keep me more focused to them though. Bye, I'm leaving your stream to go watch Sneeg. Can people stop? I hate when people do this. They say they're leaving to watch another streamer. That's just fucked up. I hate it. What was that? What was what? I don't know. We're reacting. What? The crispy what? <laughs> I agree. Uh, oh, no. Don't. Don't tell me. Please don't. Oh, no. shit. Sneak's live. Oh, shit. Sneak's live. <laughs> we should watch him. That was crazy.
What was that? What was what? The clip? I now have a ping of the Twin Towers and a Boeing 737 saved to my PC. Watch the new clip. You guys don't clip well. I can't. You guys can't clip. You guys don't clip. I need better clips. I need better clips. Like, I need the I clips way better. And you guys don't clip slay. enough. Pay us? Hell no. <laughs> I can barely pay myself. What was that? What was what? I don't know. We're reacting. The crispy what? <laughs> I agree. Uh, oh no! Don't don't tell me. Please don't. Oh no. shit! Sneaks live. Oh shit! Sneaks live. Oh shit! I am live. <laughs> That's too funny, bro. <laughs> sorry, sorry guys. I was just I was just being a react Andy. I just I was just getting in the in the mood. Are we doing this again? Am I am I going to have to do this again? All right, I got to go turn my fan on because it's getting hot in here. So I got to do that. Stabilize. Ah, oh, that's funny. All right, let's watch this clip. Okay, the bunny's gone. What was that? What was what? The bunny disappeared. There's the there's the twin towers. Oh shit, sneaks live. Oh shit, I am live. I am live. All right, no more. That's enough. We're not we're not doing this anymore. Don't call me a beetroot. Your mom's in my bed. Tilling my soil. <laughs> Man, fuck you. I thought my laptop was bugging out for a solid minute or two. I freaked out. about what <laughs> oh it's very funny so uh so like uh, i'm in going to teleport you <laughs> that's scary <laughs> It's how I did the the mouth movements being delayed on the recording yesterday.
<laughs> All right, now that I've milked content for an hour, let's watch this. <laughs> it's been an hour, Jesus. My bad. Kind of went down a rabbit hole. Then I had to take my fart pills. And then we actually went into a... Uh oh, there's another clip. Do I click it? She till my soil till I fertilize. What? Ah, uh, funny. All right, let's watch this clip. Sneak reacts to 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 his mod's magic tris. Okay, the bunny's gone. That is that is what happened. The bunny is gone. Bunny district. There's the there's the twin towers. <laughs> I'm just laughing thinking about this. I always tune in at the oddest of times. I am live. I am live. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's so freaky looking. Damn, he's pretty good at the streaming shit. I'm gonna have to watch this stream. Day six of being stuck in a time loop. <laughs> I'm starting to think this Sneep Snorp guy caused 9-11. Why else would I have looped back this many times? I'm losing hope. I want to teleport him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm having too much fun with this thing. Hmm. Wait, yeah, FNAF, hold on. Um. Okay, wait, hold on. We'll go to here. And... Oh, then Freddy noise is one hour. <laughs> Accurate or no? Oops, that's the wrong thing. Be with my girl. <laughs> All right, it's time. The Walton Files is something that we've watched before, um, and it was a banger, and they released the fourth one uh, about a, a couple weeks ago. You know, I was gonna smoke and watch. I think him good enough without XD. Why? Something wrong? Anyway, all right, this is about 36 minutes. Am I sure I took my meds? Okay, what I'm saying is I probably feel more like I used to because all the anxiety in my head is like shutting the fuck up because I started taking my medicine three times a day instead of taking, okay, well, first of all, journey here. Um, I took it. And then the doctor was like, you're taking half of the recommended dose. And I was like, oh. So that's why at the end of the day, the, like the, the fucking, the inner critic shows back up and starts yapping about all the shit I didn't do today. <clears throat> so then I started taking more, which helped. And then I was waking up, still feeling that way. And so now I'm taking it more because having a baby is stressful, legitimately. Like, I mean, I'll be legitimately like vulnerable for a bit. It is stressful to like have a daughter and think about all the things I need to do to protect and provide. So it, my, my stress has definitely gone up 
And there's nothing wrong with taking an increase in medicine when you need it, man. So um, I feel like I have needed it and I haven't. And now that I have, I feel like I'm able to like, there, there's been points of time where like the anxiety Hello, comes snuggle. back out. And I thought that was like a normal thing that it just like is a matter of time where like your medicine kind of wears down. Not supposed to happen, by the way. You're not supposed to have somebody constantly nagging in the back of your head. Um, news to me. <laughs> so, I feel like I'm doing better now that um, you're not. No. I mean, like, sometimes everybody criticizes themselves. But, like, no, not all the time. <laughs> no. I mean, like, everybody's critical of themselves, but I mean, like, in the the absurd sort of ways. Like, like how I would make an intro, like, yesterday, and you know where my mind would initially go? Even though I, I'm so proud of that intro yesterday, it, it, is, it was so cool to make, and it looked awesome. Like, it worked so well, but I don't feel this way. But I know what my mind would have said is, is that little critic would have been like, well, what you should have done is added fart sound effects to when it was started glitching to really immerse Chad into the fact that they were shitting themselves to break the immersion. But you didn't. Therefore, the entire thing's a failure. That's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Your brain's not supposed to do that. I mean, like, it's one thing to be like, well, I, I could have done this better. It's another thing to be like, the entire thing you did is shit because I just thought of something that you didn't think of that you could have done and should have done, but I didn't tell you until afterwards. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So maybe talk to your doctors while <laughs> criticize these nuts. What? That's not funny. That's not funny. Anyway, uh, I feel like the past year or so has been like very stressful just because I've been doing so many significant life events that like I've kind of despite getting help and having medicine being taken I haven't kind of been checking on it and so it's kind of just been running rampant just at a lower degree anyway and so um I'm kind of like beginning to find the level at which I can maintain my anxiety and those thoughts just end up being like much smaller thoughts that don't have as big of a voice because that's kind of where it should be i mean like anxiety shouldn't not exist because it, it's based off of fears that can be realistic and can keep you safe in a way um like and if you didn't have any fear you would probably get yourself killed but the the way that mine predominantly takes over the wheel half the time, if not a majority of my life the past year and a half. Not good. Not good for you. If your criticism is the loudest in your thoughts and you can't think beyond it, that's a problem. That's anxiety. I'll tell you right now from experience. Anyway. I feel like I'm doing better. I feel like I feel more like I used to. Back before, um, yeah, no, I don't know, a giant plague overwhelmed the entirety of the world and my perspective on life changed permanently. So. As someone who has been diagnosed and medicated for most of my life now, anxiety for 12 years, I think. The biggest lesson I had to learn is that the pill isn't a cure-all, mm. and it shouldn't be. 
Doc Air, it's a journey yay, that never ends and that's okay. Yeah, I think some people take medicine and think that it's going to solve everything, but like medicine is like a way to damper the problems that your brain causes in order for you to allow yourself to work your way through it. I mean, like I do all that and I go to therapy and talk about like certain things that I hang up on and behaviors that I exhibit that I don't like and things like that. So yeah, for sure. All right. Check on yourself, chat. It's important. More than you think. It's like giving your brain glasses. I mean, we talked about this the other day. You know how like people are blind and they don't really know it or like they have terrible vision and then they put on corrective lenses and they're like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? I remember, I remember when my ADHD pill kicked in for like the first time and like, rather than it being just a critic in my head, it was just like noise and sounds and voices and like me talking like about everything and like the way that I, I like felt my brain shut up, like the, all that TV static, all that white noise just like disintegrated. And I, I remember feeling it and being like, holy fuck. You know what I mean? Like, it's scary to think of because you don't notice. You don't notice. It's the same as having a, an eyesight impairment. You don't notice it until you correct it because you don't realize how bad it is because you've lived with it and you've lived with it slowly deteriorating your brain or your, or your eyes, et cetera, right? So it's crazy to, like, get that management and be like, oh, my God. You know what I mean? Anyway. Let's watch this shit. I'm excited. The Walton Files w was cool. The the first three were awesome. Um, I'm getting food. Can you stall for like two more minuets? Minuets? All right. The fuck? The fuck is timer? Oh shit, I used this last of the subathon. Start, start. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Anyway, uh, yeah, it, it's important to, to keep yourself in check. I mean, it, it, it's exactly like that. Like we don't really understand how badly Medicine it, takes it is. Medicine takes something unmanageable and makes it more manageable. Dot, it does not stop the pot from boiling, but it takes yeah. the lid off so that you can deal with it before it gets out of hand. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, exactly. It's it's important to, like, grab the tools you need to fix the window. You know what I mean? Chatting me buying some white woman's cure all $900 astronal oils. She said my vibes were off. Slash J. Real. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can we turn TTS down for React? I can I make it where is the TTS I'm curious if I can make it somehow play through the discord audio channel instead that way it's separated from the regular like stream audio like how I have the music separated I had uh Hmm. <clears throat> hmm. I don't really know. I don't know how to do that. <clears throat> Control audio via OBS? <gasps> I'm gonna replay this. If I can. I don't think I can. Let me do a TTS really quick. The timer's up. We're gonna start. Balls. 
Damn it. Didn't work. Okay, wait. Uh, do that. Okay. I'll go to TTS. Okay, do it again. No. Okay, smile. Hurry up. Can it? Okay, so that did show up on a separate audio channel, but I didn't hear it. And now I remember what the issue was. I don't know. I don't know how to make myself hear this. We're having audio issues? No, we're trying to figure out how to separate the TTS audio from the regular audio. Wow, this really is just the stalling stream. Anyways, can you wait for 10 minutes more? Thanks, slash J. I, I don't know. I don't know how to get it to where I hear it. I'll have to mess with it. I will just turn it off and keep it as is for now. Pause, pause, starty start. Let's watch the Walton Files 4. I'm going to turn down the TTS over here really quick. A ball or a balloon? Balloon. Uh, you'll float too.
some saw apparently good lord <laughs> oh oh never mind no no need to zoom in i've already seen what bond's capable of i don't need to get near him thank you nope nope go away nope nope back up six feet was that? Yeah, like, that sound like pierced my eardrum. This is one of the first mech models built by Cyberfun Tech to bring the magic of Bond's burgers to life. Today, we'll take a journey through the magic of the showstoppers and how they were created. You might learn a thing or two about the quality of our company. that bro <laughs> nowhere close these are the showstoppers the face of bunny smiles inc concept art is a very vital part of any good design so many different ideas to the bunny smiles incorporated art department was in charge of pitching up multiple designs for the characters and creating the designs we all know and love Rosemary Walton, loving wife of... is a brilliant artist with a huge passion for poetry and the theatrical... Why doesn't he want to say Jack Walton? Interesting. Art pieces ...before becoming the lead artist in BSI. She's the one in charge of making the final designs that would later become the characters they are today. 
I think I always had a pretty clear idea of how each day to look like in my mind. The designs just made sense to me. I wanted to make the me seem like the designs just made sense to me. I wanted to make them seem appealing to younger audience, while still being simple enough so they can be easy to remember. Bill Clown. Bunny Smiles originally arranged Cybertron to make their blueprints for the animatronics. But we all got so invested in the idea that we decided to have a full partnership with BSI. I'm Susan Winnick. The lead technical engineer, Funny Smiles, designed and built the animatronic models for Bonds Burgers. We had what? We added a ton of features into the models. We managed to even make them have yeah. their ability to walk and interact with the audience. Yeah, I'm sure it went well. The easiest thing. Bond is just. My sockets are melting. Ugh, what the fuck? Hello? <laughs> <Who's there? laughs> oh, hello. Yep. Specific people and places. I wonder what else made them lifelike. Stop knocking on the door. I am trying to goon over here. Holy shit, Magnet Man. Was it this sonar ass screenshot? Well, then we're just gonna have to test this out again until we get it right. It'll be a long night then. <laughs> you said it. But all right, everything seems fine so far. Sure, but I'll talk to you so close to the table. I don't think oh. so. Fuck, I told you to watch for the table, man. Well, damn it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What's kind of fucking up? Uh, where's the wrench? I'll uh, check the drawer. I think you just left. Oh, he was controlling it? Interesting. I guess that's how they taught them. Bro, let's guide the, the man right there. I don't know where he is either. I know, I know. I'm just uh, a little worried. <sighs> did Linda call? She did, yeah. I'm gonna be totally honest with him. Knowing Felix, he's probably drinking somewhere in town. 
Does Jack or Rose know? No, nope. I don't think Linda told them how to eat it. Susan, we have to tell them. I think even Chris knows about the addiction. Let's just focus on work for now, shall we? Right. So, uh, I'm checking my notes right now. What's up to this? Well, Norman said we should start testing the facial tracking feature. So we're going to have the robot walk around and see if it recognizes our faces. Well, we checked that already. Jack brought in Molly here, and the council recognized them. Well, yeah, but we're going to do a secondary test, because the council seems to have trouble detecting the faces. Oh, the test we did with Sophie. Right. Mm-hmm. I see how this test goes. Maybe it's going to recognize too many two faces too well. Just got a volunteer job at a cat rescue and now I'm celebrating with a sneak stream. This has been a good day smile. Everything seems to be working properly. Huh. So that means no more testing for today? Yep, very much. Ah, uh, sweet. That could really use a beer right now. Uh, really what we it's talking about earlier. Uh, yeah. I love beer! Yeah, that was kind of a beat, though. What does that mean? That's what I heard, man. He was drunk while driving the car? Oh, oh the off. guy from the... That was, yeah, Felix from a couple of episodes ago. ago. Right? You didn't tell us? It was private, Charles. Only the family were there. Fuck. How's Jack holding up? Haven't heard of him in a long while. I barely even see him at work. You don't think Felix's story... ...lies, don't you? A story? I think it's bullshit. I think something else happened, man. Something worse. Oh, God. This would stress me out, dude. Like, I cannot believe people would, like, make stuff like this and just, like... I don't even want to think about it. I don't know. Something about making, like... Like... Life-sized animatronics and robots, like, walk around and do things. Maybe too much FNAF and stuff like this <laughs> makes me think they're gonna like rip my skin off, but still. Okay, they left. Which one is, is that the... Which one is that? Base track feature start. A rabbit? It's base recognizing the other dolls? That's not supposed to happen, is it? No faces for oh. Oh, because it's the guy's meat snag. Because it was a face. Oh, BSI technical support audio log number mm. three. 
Yikes. It's very awkward. What the hell is that? style. God, I wish you wouldn't, Susan. Remind me what that thing is that entered Vaughn. is playing down in the background. Don't know. Felix already happened, that's right. Wife's not gonna be home though. Where is she? Please. 
That's their grave, I'm guessing. Yup. Three days after the accident, I haven't been able to sleep since last week. I finally told him what happened. Prior to the accident? It, it was in my office. It, those were, were it was the longest hour of my life. The most painful conversation I've ever had. Pain in their eyes, the, the anger. They both hate me now. Yeah, you literally I, killed I, I don't their children. I have no idea what what's gonna happen to me now. My life, my business, everything. But but the fact the fact they're still buried down there. It haunts me every night. Seeing me up inside. <coughs> Rosemary asked about the doll. I, I told her they, they that they left it at school. Oh God! That was a lie. I don't know what to do with the doll. Wherever I go, there it is, and I can't get myself to get rid of it. It's like a constant reminder of this huge mistake, and how there's nothing I can do to make it better. What the fuck is back there? What is that? Oh my god, it's them. Oh! Whoa! Oh, that's.
that's freaky, dude. Look at them. It's the kids back there. Oh, that's a creepy ass image. I love that. Yeah, it's because they're the doll, yeah. Ugh. colored eyes to represent each kid and everything. Yeah, he really popped off with this one, dude. What the fuck? I can hear you, Susan. I'm here. Where are you? Please, where am I? Don't you worry. You're in safe hands, Susan. Welcome. To Wonderland, your new home, isn't it beautiful? Dead? No, 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 no. Yep. Yep. Wonderful. Not yet, at least. Your heart is still beating, but your body is now. Functionless. Out there, you're slowly suffocating. But here, you're safe. The spirit doesn't pass on quite as fast as the body does. I would know. Oh, where are my manners? 
pleasure to meet you. My name is Tom, and you're Susan. I've had my eye on you. I know you very well, my friend. I know you like to fix things, isn't that right? So why is... Well, so do I. Wouldn't you like me to fix Why is Mo from you? the Three Stooges a murderer? What are you talking about? Perhaps I could help you. Thank you. A gift. Is that Steve? Take Bro, what? Is this Steve? <laughs> cool. That's ridiculous. Take a look inside. Yay! That is the new you. A wonderful gift that will eventually become your new body. Just like a beautiful butterfly. Yay! Bursting from a cocoon. All right, you get, get down from there. Reborn. Do you we know who Bon is again? I don't remember. To me, that is up to you. But what other choice do you have? A spirit can survive without being tethered to a vessel. I know you're scared. I just know that he's that this white guy now. Too, but everything will be okay. I, I, I don't Apologies for what I had to do to you. But look, the hard part is over with now. Uh. Besides, you. Can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Jesus. Copyright for me, I'm full. Damn! What the hell, dude? Bro went crazy. I mean, talk about a pop off, dude. That's a face. Crime scene face. So close, that's a river. River that looks like a face. That's a face. Hold you.
like they found the evidence. But yeah, was that him? I guess he did throw himself in the river, huh? The console contains the main patterns for the robot's movements and interactions with the customer. Or somebody through him. The console allows the animatronic to have advanced interactions with the audience. Most notable one being the like kid's stuff that looked like a face, though. Allows the character to... does, that, does that not look like a face to you? Maybe their bodies? No, he buried them. Shoe? I guess maybe. Whatever. The console contains the main patterns for the robot's movements and interactions with the customers. The console allows the animatronic to have advanced interactions with the audience. Most notable one being the walk around feature, which allows the character to roam around the place. There are no bodies in the water, smile. For safety protocol, the console allows the robot to visualize its surroundings. This avoids the character falling, bumping onto objects, or even customers. This feature is called Map Tracking, and it works as a basic radar for the animatronic. The Map Tracking feature records audio for safety reasons. Uh -huh. Once the console is removed from the mech, technicians are allowed to see the recording from the animatronic's perspective. If any console oh. recording contains any error or faulty programming, please contact oh. Charles Brooke. Happen. Quit your tapping. Ugh. Ugh. Ew. Oh, it's Guy Man again. The facial tracking feature is the most advanced oh, wow. technology in Cyberfun Tech. This feature allows the robot to detect specific people in the audience. For example, the birthday boy. This allows for a much more magical and realistic experience from the family's perspective. A technician adds the profile of a person and lights it onto the console. The console then will detect said person's face through their defining facial yes, features. Yes, dudes. This technology is still a little faulty and in testing phases, as the console can only detect a limited amount of combinations, which means a person could easily... Hello. Uh, I'm, I'm calling to inform uh, m my, my colleague, or well, my friend, Susan, mm -hmm. hasn't shown up in a few days. Er. I contacted her family, and they say they also haven't heard from her. Erm. We're all really worried over here. That's just sick. May have Look, she's at home right now. With her boyfriend. Apparently she was here on the 30th. But I'm not sure. I called in sick that day. Please, if anyone oh. has any information, call me. Please. Bro, who the fuck is peeping Tom over here? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Stuff her in there. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh. Hi. Flashbang, 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 fla fla flashbang, please. Oh, that's a face. There's the eyes right there. Check my pant. Sorry. Upside down face. Why does it turn into the boss from Star Fox 64 every time? Bro, he put her in upside down? Pardon? Oh god. That's that's some creepy ass fucking audio, dude. I hate it. 
Her neck is broken, that's true. Yeah, from that workplace accident. Shame. Yep, still alive. Still alive, slowly suffocating is what they said in the last thing. Who the hell? Um, I'll come back later. TV. React stream? Danny reacts. <laughs> oh, bro, why'd she go slanted? <laughs> Zah hit, dude. That was crazy. We must go deep into the forest. All right, follow me. Peeping. Bro was taking a peek over the top. Ah, shit. seen it all right now he's taking it in <laughs> 